this code of conduct you will have to sign. This is yours. This is you. You need to agree to uh, follow this when you uh, apply for uh, the CISSP certification. Um, this is our professional standard. Uh, so, um, this is the Code of Ethics, sometimes also known as the Canons or Codes of Conduct. Um, it's uh, available uh, www.isc2.org slash ethics with a capital E. Um, and uh, you can look it up. But you are going to see it, as I say, when, when you go to sit the exam, uh, first thing you do, it's, it's going to present you. Do you agree with uh, this code of ethics? Now, um, altogether, it's about a, a page of text, but it only has four canons, and it's very simple. Um, basically, Again, it's deontological, so it talks about duty, and you have a duty to society, to ethics itself, to your employer, and to the profession. That's it. That's the four canons wrapped up in a nutshell. Um, it does uh, go into... Uh, more wording here so uh, what it says is you know canon one uh, you are to protect society the common good um, the information infrastructure uh, you have a responsibility to that and notice the responsibility to society comes before uh, the responsibility to your employers um, so when, you know, uh, you've got a situation where uh, you can either protect society or protect your employer, no, you are to protect the society. I mean, you are to do your best for your employer uh, at all times, but not if it is going to harm society overall. So that's the order. Uh, second, um, Canon 2, uh, as I say, a duty to ethics itself. Act honorably, honestly, justly, responsibly. You know, uh, do the right thing. Um, so, we have a duty to ethics itself. There. Um, canon 3, provide diligent and competent service to your employers, your principals, your enterprise. Uh, it says principals. It's, um, it's interesting that one uh, time uh, somebody uh, posted on the IC2 website uh, uh, made a spelling mistake and, and instead of Principals, P A L S, which is their employer, um, said principles, uh, P L E S, uh, which essentially sort of copied uh, Canon 2 that you have a, a duty to ethics itself. You know, you have a, uh, a, a duty to the principles of conduct. But anyway, uh, and for the last one, advance and protect the profession. And, uh, in a sense, that's what I'm doing here. Providing uh, training for those of you who want to go into the field, want to get certified, uh, making that available. Uh, I am providing my experience over low these many years. Uh, for those of you who uh, can't afford the thousands of dollars, now, I still, you know, I love to do the, uh, the live training. Uh, and it's much more fun to get uh, feedback and questions and, and that sort of thing from you guys. But I know that it's expensive and, and some of you can't afford it. So, 
providing uh, training for you guys, uh, assistance, facil facilitation for you guys um, who uh, want to get certified for the profession but don't have the, the wherewithal for uh, the expensive seminars. Uh, anyways, uh, so these are these are what we're talking about with regard to the the ISC2 code of of conduct, and that's you know basically it for uh, the the ethics of our profession. Um, so that's you know that that is not big. There it is. Uh, that's what you'll be asked to sign. You, you should be able to sign that. Uh, believe me, if you can't, uh, you are in the wrong profession. Um, so, uh, a bit of wrap up then, and this finishes off the course. Um, so, uh, what to do with regard to ethics? Um, as I say, you know, this is, uh, not often clear, uh, clear cut in, in terms of, you know, where does ethics fall? It, it should be informing a lot of your decisions. But um, have a corporate guide to uh, computer ethics, information ethics, uh, that sort of thing. Again, um, uh, this should be something that you, in conjunction with the people who are actually working in your enterprise, uh, put together considering uh, the, the ethical topics uh, but it should be at least signed off by senior management and uh, I mean seriously so they, they, you should present it to them and, and ensure that they do understand the implications uh, of what you were asking them and, you know, particularly when you come to that uh, look, we have a duty to society first. Society comes before the company. Sorry, that's what I signed off on. That's that's what I have to say. Um, and that's what our uh, code of conduct has to say. And if you disagree, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking for another job. Uh, really, you know, uh, you do not want to work for a company that is going to hedge on that kind of a principle. The, uh, uh, you know, have a, a business and computer ethics policy. Again, policy is going to have to be signed off by senior management. Um, have ethics in the employee handbook. Uh, make sure that you uh, address that and, and new employees realize that, yeah, this is, this is significant. Um, have computer ethics part of your training campaigns. Um, have it something that you cover in, in terms of the ongoing uh, training that we have, uh, you know, particularly in terms of our security training and, and awareness. Uh, but make sure that, that is included. And, of course, specific email, uh, and other privacy related policy development you're you know, going to be involved in that and, and make sure that uh, ethics is included in them. So, hopefully this helps you get certified.